Capricorn, how are you doing? So um, I'm going to have to let go just very quickly for the people that are subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, please just hang in there. For a sec. Could be dealing with Hangman, maybe a Life Path 3 or a Pisces, or you've got this in your chart somewhere. But um, anyway, uh, what's happened to me, I'm going to have to drop what's kind of happened and move on with my life. For a lot of you that have donated, I really do appreciate that. Some of you have donated vast amounts of money, and I really do appreciate it. I think someone donated £700, Kyra, I think. So thank you so much, Kyra. Um, but if you want to read about my circumstance, just kind of bypass what happened to me. And really, it's about you guys. If you want to, and you can, and you want to fund my project, which is um, a fast food van and a trailer, um, I really would appreciate it if you would care to take a look below. But when it comes to the anger and the resentment that I have for it, I'm just dropping it and going to have to move on with my life. Um, but the, the GoFundMe still applies below. So thanks, Capricorn. So let's see what you guys have got coming up. I hope you are well. My voice is slowly coming back. And as soon as I've done this, I'm going to go and do some Uber Eats or whatever you guys call it, DoorDash, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to earn some money, Capricorn. Let's see. Capricorn, what's going on with me? Capricorns, any messages? Let's hope it's a good one. So traveling to and from work, maybe that you're sick to death of being gaslit. Some of you are being stalked or watched online. And this is someone that's trying to find out things about you, Capricorn. Or if you have a life path nine, if you are a life path nine, and you have Virgo in your chart, this is you watching online. So it can be watching anything, it can even be watching me. But if you want me to add to your hysteria, if you are hysterical, <laughs> or Stacy, or Steve, or Sarah, or anybody's got S in their name, okay, this is somebody that is researching things online. So if you are with someone, this is pretty much what I'm picking up that somebody believes that somebody could be mentally ill. They could either suffer through narcissism, gaslighting, control issues, mental health, uh, bipolar, ADHD. This is someone that's looking up information on that online. Now, that could be you. But if you have a partner and you are a person where you've tried and tried and tried and everything has failed, this person is researching things about you, which means that they're putting you under a microscope to find out what's wrong with my Capricorn because they're not. <laughs> because it's kind of like, am I being gaslit? Am I a narcissist? Am I not a narcissist? Do I have control issues? Or they have control issues. They're a narcissist. They're gaslighting me. I need to find out about them. I need to research and research and research that is a constant cycle of researching and looking and waiting and wanting to find out what's going to happen, right? Which could have led to hysteria, which means that some people, you know me, I don't blow smoke up people's ass. If some of you have watched 10,000 million different tarot card readers and you go from one to the next, to the next, to the next, this is where people start to believe in witchcraft and they start to accumulate all of the information that they've gathered together. They make up their own mind instead of believing in the facts and they start to believe in fiction instead of actual facts, meaning I've heard it from 10,000 tarot readers. They're doing witchcraft. <laughs> Haven't seen it, but I believe in it now. Okay, I believe they're cheating on me. I haven't seen it, but I think that they are. Think. Thinking and are are two different words, two different things altogether. So be very mindful of what this person ends up coming to a conclusion about, about themselves or another person. Because if it's another person, it's very dangerous. Because then that's, I'm not prepared to look inwardly at myself. I'm always looking at my external environment to find out what's wrong with everybody else. It's never me, it's someone else, right? So be very careful of those, mindful of those energies. Um, we will gather together more info and find out what this could also be about. Um, this is watching things online. Like I said, it's someone that could also be majorly depressed at this time and looking for answers of what is going to be coming up with their life because they have a mental health condition of depression, which means that I might not be going out anywhere and I'm constantly watching and looking to find out what my life is. You know, instead of creating my life, I'm letting tarot 
predict my life, which is what it shouldn't do, right? You know, you are the creator of your own life. You're the creator of your own destiny. Your destiny doesn't have to prove itself to you. You have to prove yourself worthy to be here and alive, right? So if you're alive and you are doing nothing with it and you never have, where you're going to be in the same spot, right? So there's this consideration of moving. Should I move job? Should I move town, city, state, country, right? Should I just get the hell out of here and go somewhere else, right? Should I leave the partner that I'm with or should I give it another go and we'll look to see if there's – this is where <laughs> – sorry, Capricorn, but this is where people normally say, you have an avoidant detachment style and we need to start researching what's wrong with you, <laughs> Right, that's that's not good if people are doing that because that's a projection of it's someone else's fault, right? Uh, let's see, Capricorn, but it might not be all that Capricorn. Now, don't forget, you can also watch this if you have a Gemini placement because Gemini and Capricorn, major arcana sixes, the lover, the devil, they're six. That's how I read in numerology, meaning you don't have to have Gemini in your chart. You can watch Gemini readings. Um, so judgment, Libra energy here. So there's this looking for a job for a start. If you are unemployed or you're finding it very difficult in order to find money and stuff like that, this is like job researching. But whatever it is, there's a lot of research, research. I'm also hearing the name Reese, Rihanna, Ricky, Rachel also. There's definite 100% mental health here. Okay, this is a, an air sign to me because it's a two. So it represents Libra and it represents like bipolar. Okay, one minute I'm down, the next minute I'm up, the next minute I'm down, or the name Darren, or Dan, or Danielle. Okay, but I'm down, then I'm up, then I'm down, then I'm up, and then I'm up, and then I'm down. Okay, there's also this consideration of if things are not continuously going to work, I might consider doing something else. Leaving my job and going somewhere else, finding a job, possible leaving my partner, if things don't start to improve around their mental health or even mine, okay, I might consider breaking up. But it can also be I might consider reconciling if I'm not with them, <laughs> right? So let's see. It's a path that needs choosing, okay, but the major one, like it's something that will change my life if I decide to go down this path. Um, let's see. Capricorn. So, Victorious, or the name Vicky, um, or Victoria. Um, well, I used to work for Victoria, and she used to do a transport company called uh, TVS. Um, so that was like same-day courier driving. To be fair, this is also mental health, so it can be hospitals and doctors. In fact, I've literally <laughs> – I didn't really want to tell everybody, but – I'm going to have to start inputting towards my dream of what I want. So I've had to get a job and I found one and I've actually got it. And it's driving uh, ambulances, elderly people to and from across the country um, in order for them to get from the hospital to their house or from hospital to another hospital. Um, and I love doing both driving and also elderly people. So it gives me a chance to give back to the community. So this is like getting a job, moving on from the past or so, letting bygones be bygones. If you have been looking for a bargain, bargain bucket, what is that, a chicken? Bar what came first, the chicken or the egg? Don't know, chickens and eggs. You might be on a carnivore diet or something like that or eating protein. Um, the road, Rhodes Island. Rhodes, Louisiana, Louise, Anne, Polly Anne, polyamorous. Somebody could be in a polyamorous type sort of um, scenario of like marriage and stuff here. Um, let's see, Capricorn. So there you go. There's the chariot. So if any of you have been looking for like DoorDash or Uber Eats or anything to do with like delivery driving, Anything like that, that is a very good opportunity. For me, I have Gemini three times in my chart, moon mainly. Um, but that is, yeah, that's like elderly people. That can be like deceased. That's like for people that are also um, 
There's also someone grieving here, the loss of a loved one from the past that they've lost, that they can't move on from. But things are going to get better and you're going to start moving on with your life and realizing that the past is in the past and that you're going to have to start moving on from someone that has deceased and lost. So the grieving energy is getting better. Someone here has also been ill, whichever could also be vocal. <laughs> this is like singing and stuff like that. So this could be like vocal cords um, becoming better here because this is things are getting better, lighter and easier. So if you've lost your voice or anything like that, this is things coming back. If you've had a cold or a flu or anything like that, this is you getting better. This is also in remission of cancer itself, okay? So this is good news about some kind of like being in remission, okay? Somebody that may be in your family or something like that that's elderly that could have been suffering through signs of cancer, I'm kind of picking up a sign of going into remission. Um, transmission, radio, something to do around radio broadcasting or pod casting something like that i'm also picking up fishing for some reason which would be around a pisces maybe could be cat fishing for a lot of you or just someone that always goes fishing be very careful of cat fishing um broadcasting broadway or abroad that's someone that is new york city right don't they call them abroad in new york city um some of you could be going abroad, which means that I'm going away for a while um, and we're going abroad into a different country, traveling to a different country, like permanently or physically just going on a holiday. Um, wow, you're getting quite a few messages here. Now, what did I want to go back to of this job-wise? If you are looking at anything to do with, like, that's it. This is nail by mouth, like end of life right? End of life. This is transporting people from a hospital of end of life, right? So if you deal with, if you're around hospitals or anything like that, this is what I'm, what I got yesterday, which is a, an ambulance driver for the elderly of people that are also of end of life, right? Um, it's also DoorDash. It's also earning money, driving, lorry drivers, uh, I don't know, van life, maybe, um, park life. Some of you might need to cut down on your pork rind, mate, and get some exercise. <laughs> um, some of you could have also pulled a hamstring or you're doing some sort of exercises around maybe sciatica, sciatic nerve. Cool, you've got a nerve. <laughs> Trap nerve. Some of you have got trapped wind, which means that you suffer through flatulence, <laughs> um, which is like a gastral hyper, some sort of gas here. Some of you might be finding it difficult in order to find gas money. Or the name Gary or Tina. Um, someone that also drives a car, Tina. Um... Corvette, Corvette, vet, veterinary. What on earth's going on? Hold on, veterinary service. Some something to do with around someone's dog or animals or someone that is in the vet. Wow, I'm also hearing metropolitan to police. That's London. Any of you guys from London out there? Metropolitan Police Department or um, a veterinarian. Now, that's two. That's a veterinarian of someone that is of war and that was overseas of fighting maybe PTSD and traumatic events of physical war. Okay. During the war, Dave. <laughs> um, or Davina or Davania or Vanya, Van, Haley. Um, but sort of like, veteran of war or someone that suffers through PTSD and they're coming back from like a long time at sea, <clears throat> all at sea. That's someone's also like drinking alcohol as well. Like a lot of alcohol, cigarettes and alcohol, maybe someone from Manchester or Leeds 
Well, I'm Lee or Leanne, Laura, Linda, Lucy, Lulu, Shout, Vocal Chords, uh, Cutting the Cord. Yeah, you can't do that to a karmic person unless you're mad. Maddie, Madam, um, um, uh, Umbilical Cord, Pregnancy of a Cancerian. Someone could be pregnant here, and this is cutting the cord. You, you, For these people that fucking bang on about all of this metaphysical cutting the cord to my karmic past, please don't, like, no. <laughs> uh, that's what I said at the beginning, right? Belief. The metaphysical belief of stuff that isn't real, right? Uh, let's see. Capricorn. So, it's something to do with around money and finances and a job. Okay. Or the name Rob or Robin or Robertson or something to do with my child. This is a child that's born here. Someone's about to give birth to a child or has done. And this is like a newborn baby, don't you know? Jen, you know, Jennifer, Jen. Um, N Gen N Gen number nine has Virgo in their chart of someone that is called Jennifer or Jen or Jason or Julian, but someone majorly has Virgo in their chart that begins with J. Um, ba -da -ba -ba. Uh, but, but grain chill, <laughs> why am I hearing that for? Grain chill. Well, grain chill was to do with around schools and colleges. Um, and it was Just Say No. Uh, they did a song called Just Say No. Uh, Patterson, <laughs> he got into cocaine and drugs. And it was a, a TV program called Grain Chill. And it was based off children at college and schools. So I don't know if it's Jack or Black or the School of Rock, Rock and Roll School or Music School. Um, but I'm also picking up a scholarship as well, like some of the children or someone may go be going for a scholarship. My well, name's Steve, Ship, Scholar, Scallops, something to the around fish and cooking fish, something to the around cooking. Scallops, fish, chips, um, I don't know. Maybe someone's, my name is Chef, or Jeff, or Steve, or Sarah, or Manuel. <laughs> um, chef, my name is Chef. Um, hold on a minute, Cappies. Let's make sure that we're in the shot. In the shot, we all stop getting shot. Someone's smoking copious amounts of ganja or weed here. Um, could be the comedian. <laughs> Whatever his name is. Um, yeah, we all stop getting shot. Shot. Someone that got shot. Shot. Shot to the heart, and you're to blame, darling. You give love a bad name. You broke my heart and I play your game. Michael Douglas. Let's put five Sagittarius Taurus. I don't know. Let's see. The world. So a slow start. Looking up something to do with the rounds. Why are things? It's, it's a bit like trying to remain patient. Inpatients, outpatients, hospitals, doctors. And things being very slow. Like I can't wait for this to start. Okay, because at the moment I'm bored, I'm doing nothing, and I'm just sitting here. T-Rex, Tatiana, sitting here. I can't burn for you, but I'm deeper in love. Ain't that funny? Uh, what's the hermit here for? If you didn't know, I'm just getting over laryngitis. Um, Capricorn, what is the hermit here for? So Libra energy two. What do I do with the number two? Well, I flush it. Um, flush. Flow. 
Florence and the Machine. Florence Nightingale. Someone's something to do with around um, hospitals, Florence Nightingale. But Florence. Lawrence. What the hell? Lawrence Libre? What's that? Lawrence Libre? 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 Libre. Lithuania? Um, anybody's got like L in their name, like Lithel, um, Latoya. Oh, actually, Latoya is the person that gave me my interview. <laughs> um, so unless your name's Latoya or Latonya or Tonya, Tonya. Um, let's see, Judgment. So the King of Pentacles, money, 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 money. It must be funny in a rich man's world. Richie, Rachel, Evans, Barry, Tina, Tyler, Tanya. Um, this is a loss of a father or worrying about losing my husband or wife or my father. Here, someone that lost parents or thinking or worrying about an elderly person, father. Um, six of Wands. Could be a friend here that someone's talking to or getting to know someone new. But this can also be, like I say, a reconciliation. Someone that you were married to or that you spent a long time with or have been for a long time or you've been friends for a long time or... You're just starting to, like, talk to someone maybe of the past that you've got children with and you're you're just kind of like, you know, meh. <laughs> yeah. I don't know whether love is involved, but there's some sort of involvement here with the past that they or you are having. What is the chariot? Oh dear, Five of Swords and Libra energy here. Someone's getting really wound up about the amount of time someone isn't actually spending with someone. Like, you don't come over, you don't reach out, I don't get to see you. You ghost me, you've gone AWOL. Could be someone that has ADHD. Seven of Cups and the Seven of Swords is ADHD. So, so depression and ADHD for me. So relating to mental health, this is attention seeking, but it's also um, um, ADHD, right? Attention, not paying attention to this person here. <clears throat> so this is like someone obviously that has ADHD and finds it very difficult in order to be able to keep up their relationship uh, because they have, they can't concentrate and they thinking, you know, Oh, people with ADHD do that. Um, so they're going on around a Libra and something that's bothering someone about not paying attention. What's the High Priestess here for? So a Gemini or a Capricorn. And a person and money here. Someone's being lied to here. Someone's telling lies or Elijah. But someone's also telling lies about keeping secrets about money. But this can also be like catfishing. If it was in the reverse, it's catfishing. But I'm not reading cards in reverse. But something to do with the rounds driving and, and stuff or someone's getting like really annoyed because their car isn't working here. And this is what they do in order to earn money. But there's a recovery energy from that. Like I'm recovering from sort of like a pickup or driving or a recovery driver or like my car breaks down and it needs picking up or fixing and it's frustrating and I'm getting pissed off because I, I'm i waiting for like money. Like like if you are a driver, right, and your car breaks down, you're, you're buggered because you're a driver and that's what you do for a living, right? So you always have to make sure that you're keeping up on the payments of your car, right, here. 
So look into insurances and stuff like that. Make sure that your car is working here. Um, Cause this is, like I said, this is someone that's in love with their job, but they may have a problem with their car. Or oh, Jimmy, you know, if you want your comeback, then you're going to have to scrape it off your mum's teeth. Anyway, let's see. Um, <laughs> let's see, seven of, um, so the sun and also the knight of swords. So, yeah, there is. There's communication about driving, jobs, availability here also. Something that this is going to make your account and your money grow here. This can also be people donating towards Steve's cause, hopefully, guys. <laughs> uh, I don't want to keep going on about it because I really do hate asking for GoFundMe, but it is a dream of mine. Um, so feel free uh, to check out below. Check out um, someone that works in a shop or something. Page of someone might be going to work in a shop, like a checkout. They could be like cash and carry, could be Tesco's. Uh, let's see. Page ones. Or delicatessen. See that? Money, money, money coming in. And there's your partner. Some of you have got a person that has mental health problems and ADHD, and yeah, you kind of see each other now and again, but not really all the time here. But, you know, the state of the world is now that everything is so expensive that partners really don't get that much time to spend with one another anyway, even if you live with each other. So whether someone has ADHD or not, the state of the country, especially if you're from Britain at the moment, is an absolute shit show. The majority of people in Britain are actually moving to Spain. <laughs> um, but it's so expensive. I suppose it is obviously in America now as well. So the majority of people are having to take on more hours and get more money and, and all that stuff, and especially if there isn't any work. So if you are working and you've got jobs, there's going to be even less time to spend with one another. So people need to start pulling up their big boy pants and start getting more emotionally stable And um, because your lessons are going to be around not being able to see so much of one another because I'm at work and I'm driving. So I can't talk to you when I'm driving because that's against the law. So there'll be no text messaging and stuff when I'm driving, right? This is things that I can't see or I can't do or you can't see. So this is like a text message or talking, meaning I can talk to you on the phone, but I can't send you text messages because I'm driving, right? So this is going to be if you're in a couple and you're a driver, then whatever it was that may have been keeping you guys apart from distance of maybe ADHD. If you've both got a job now, you're not going to be able to see each other so often. This is like the all seeing eye of not knowing and seeing using your intuition. Right. So this is stuff that you are, that some people don't understand because they don't have ADHD or they don't have mental health. This is people that are earning money also that can be on PIP personal independent payments, um, like insurance claims and payouts, but it can also be people that are working, that are together, but they don't get to see each other so often because they're working, okay? So there you go, Capricorn. That is the kind of reader that I am. Um, some of you might be doing some I am type sort of like, I am worthy, I am worthy, I am loved, I am this and I am that. Um, so there you go, guys. Yeah, if you really want to help me out, then please check out my GoFundMe page below. I really would appreciate it because it's really helping me out to save the money for my dream uh, fast food truck. But they cost so much money, it's unreal. So it might take me a little while. But anyway, I'm uh, getting a job, like I said, in order to be able to start funding it myself as well. Um and yeah, I hopefully start this job very soon, driving ambulances, and I can't wait to do it because it's one of my dream jobs also. Um, and if you would like to join below, you can. That's where the majority of my readings take place because I don't do them all on YouTube. So they are on the join button below. That only costs you $4 to join per month, and that's it. And you get your readings for the other star signs. Uh, 
So please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Really do appreciate it, and I'll see you soon.